Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Arma Hobby. It comes in 170 second scale and this time we get quite an interesting modification of the famous British aircraft. It's a so-called Sea Hurricane Mark 1B and in 170 second scale this might be a familiar kit to you because we also reviewed several versions of this aircraft in previous boxings. But now we have this new version with this uh, arrestor hook and also some slight modifications modifications which were implemented on this Sea Hurricane and of course this is the final shape of the kit uh, so you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and it will be interesting to check what is actually included here and what is interesting for me first is that here we have the writing that there are 3d printed parts included so I wonder what is actually copied I can guess that maybe it's a raster hook but we will see and the box art looks good just as good as the previous releases from Amra Hobby here we have also short list of the features which you can expect here so we have plastic parts of course decals for five markings 3d printed parts and even masks are included here next here on the rear side you'll find five marking options and I would say it would be strange to expect something colorful from British camouflages. So here you can see a typical schemes. And here you can see also some safety devices and address of the manufacturer in case you would like to visit them. That's where you should go, I guess. And also we have now box sealed. So I will have to cut through it and then we will start checking the plastic part. So it's easy to notice that this is a side opening box here we have everything packed into one plastic bag and it's a resealable plastic bag so it's quite quick to open and I will show what we have here in a second okay so I suggest we go with our traditional order so first we check the gray plastic parts and then gradually we move on to other components which are included here because there are plenty of them so first of all let's start with the small sprue here you can see that we have the uh, rear or actually the rudder part not the rear actually it is placed in rear but we have the rudder molded together with the tail fin we also here uh, have the propeller hubs we have also engine gear wheels pilot seat air intake cover so everything is molded here and molding quality looks fine so it's just a matter of separating these parts they are more or less ready to be used straight out of the box so I do not see any problems or issues here and attachment points are quite thin so it will be easy to separate them and get them into the right spot next we continue with one more plastic sprue so this one is actually the final one so here we have all other parts which will be necessary for the assembly of this aircraft and I guess we can zoom in even closer so that you can take a closer look at all details which are pre-molded here and external features are actually good looking here so it's just a matter of not losing them under several layers of paint or primer so be careful with that but as you can see everything is pretty much fine for this scale let's not forget that we are dealing with a 170 second scale model and still amount of features which are implemented out of the box is quite impressive and it would be a shame to lose them and maybe it's also a good idea to bring them out because here for example we have nicely imitated fabric surface uh, quite a traditional feature of uh, hurricane and here if I flip it over inside the fuselage house we have guiding elements we do not have that many cockpit parts because they are actually I mean the cockpit parts they are molded separately and they will be inserted here and here you can see also main wheel wells which are also quite nice and again for 170 second scale it looks decent next we continue with a clear sprue so here I'm not sure why this type of parts is still packed without any additional plastic bag altogether with a gray spruce it's not that safe type of the packaging to be honest because this way you can easily scratch it and then it will be really difficult to uh, fix all the possible damage but molding quality looks fine and as you remember we have masks included actually i will show them in a second so these are pre-cut masks and to be honest they look rather interesting I'm not sure why they're like that. So here you can see maybe these are additional masks and maybe there are more hidden in the assembly manual, we will see. So there is one more thing. So here we have the small bubble wrap 
for the 3D printed parts because they're quite tender. So at least these parts got the separate packaging. And here we have quite an interesting stuff because we have all the necessary parts for the C version of this aircraft. So if I bring it here, you can see that we have the fuselage panel. We also have the arrestor hook, just like I guessed. Here it is, by the way. We also have some new exhaust stack. And here we have another type of the exhaust stack, as far as you can see, and also some antennas, which can be implemented on this aircraft. It might look complicated, but actually these are resin supports or 3D printing supports, which make this a bit more complex to look at. But uh, in reality, it will be quite easy to separate and get it on the aircraft. Next, we continue also so these are actually masks which will be used with the clear parts and landing gear parts. So they are pre-cut as I said before. And then we have also the small decal sheet. This one is printed in tech mode so you shouldn't be worried about any quality issues. But here we have all the necessary symbols for this aircraft and also we have stencils and cockpit decals. So if I zoom out a bit now you should be able to see them. And we have the cockpit decals, not only the instrument panel, we also have the seat belts, which is rather nice inclusion, especially considering the fact that we do not have any P parts included here. And last but not the least is the assembly manual. So this one is printed in form of large cover printed brochure. Here I will have to zoom out a bit so that it will fit into the frame. We have short history node and parts map, also covers chart. Next we continue with assembly process. So it starts with the main wheel well, as you can see there are plenty of parts to be installed here and there, so pay attention to this and maybe try to plan the painting process because it will require some due care. Also the original fuselage house, they will require some modification, these blue lines actually mean that they should be cut off. Uh, quite an interesting color choice, I would rather expect the red color. But here we continue with cockpit parts, so then we also have some modifications here. As far as you can see, for the marking option one, you will have to fill in the panel lines. That's what this uh, small note shows to you. Next, we continue with more modifications. Again, this one is for the marking option five, the small tabs behind the exhaust stacks. Next, here you can see also this uh, new resin part being installed below the aircraft. We also assemble the landing gear. And here we can choose between uh, exhaust stacks, canopy parts, obviously you can open the canopy if you would like to. And first two marking options are here. So as I said before, another pair of the camouflages and one more here. So as I said before, uh, these camouflages are quite typical for uh, British aircraft. Here we also have small ad for other kits which we reviewed from Arma Hobby. But as for today's kit, it should be already available and in my opinion this is an interesting build for those models who would like to build an unusual version of the Hurricane. And it should be already available, you can get it even on official website. I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video reviews. Thank you for joining me today and bye.